was. I've heard of this scam. And... No, now she's laughing. <laughs> Good morning, and right now we are heading to one of the epic viewpoints here in Nimbin at sunrise. In all honesty, though, I don't think we're gonna get a sunrise, but at least there won't be many people. That's the other benefit to a sunrise without the sun. Yeah. The viewpoint should be just up here in the distance. <laughs> I just swallowed a fly. <laughs> oh my, that's not nice. So we have just got to this viewpoint, it's Hang Muai viewpoint, and it's actually cost 100,000 to enter, which is actually quite crazy because everything else is normally like, you know, 10,000, 20,000. We just started up these stairs, bit of a drag in here. We're also with Wes, he's another content creator, kind of another videographer. We're gonna be spending like the next, I don't know how long, week or so with him. We're gonna be going up north together, the Hajian, of course. Here we are, we are at the top, at the dragon's head. But it is pretty slippery up here, make sure you're careful, especially because it's raining now. Um, just need to be careful, I think my flip flops are extra slippy, but these views are just insane. It kind of adds this mystic, kind of mystical vibe with these clouds, but it's crazy. We came for sunrise, and now it's raining. You win some, you lose some. Honestly, this view is just insane. In every direction, there's just mount these just mountains. Literally, they call it like Halong Bay on la on land here. So yeah, it's like a 15, 20 minute walk to get up here. Um, get here early though, because honestly, if you come at midday, I did do it two days ago, and there were so many people. Midday, it was absolutely packed. There was a few people for sunrise, but now it's it's pretty good. So guys, not quite the sunrise we were hoping for. That dreamy sunrise on the viewpoint. But that's how it is. Often it does seem to be quite cloudy and like misty here in Nimbin, so just something to take into account. But I'm gonna go have breakfast because in my hostel it's actually included, which is pretty good. Probably gonna meet up with Wes later on, so yeah, let's go. I am back at the hostel now. I'm actually in a private room. I've been staying in private rooms just because I've got to edit in the evenings and it it's just easier for me. Unfortunately, because I only booked one night here, I've got to check out and check into a different hotel hostel thing. So unfortunately, I've got to move, which is a bit of a pain. So it means packing the bag. So now we're off to somewhere very different and actually quite unique for here in Ninbin. Honestly, guys, just riding around, whether you're on a bicycle or a motorbike, this scenery is beautiful. Like, everywhere you look, you're just like, I need to slow down and stop. I need to stop again. I want to fly the drone. Like, it's just stunning around here. Have a look at this. Let's turn the engine off, because that's a bit annoying. Destroys the piece. This is gorgeous. Just a little spot here. I think this is the Trang Ang area. I don't know what that means too much, but yeah, looks so pretty. This place seems massive. There's so much parking. There's a lot of tourists. I'm not too sure about this. Thank you. So the entrance fee is free, but the only way to get there, you have to pay for a 100,000 return electric car fees. If you're wondering where we are, we're in the largest Buddhist temple complex in the whole of Vietnam. And there's all these pagodas everywhere. So yeah, let's go explore this place. So I think we've just arrived at this big bell tower. Yeah, that's definitely what it is. Look at that. A massive bell. I don't really know. There's no real signpost telling you. Well, there is signpost, but it's all in Vietnamese. So I can't understand it, but I'm gonna try and read something online about this place because it's beautiful around here. It's quite funny because it says everywhere, oh, it says everywhere, be quiet, be silent, right, respect. And then there's all these people just shouting everywhere. And it's like, oh, just be respectful We're in a Buddhist monument. The thing about this temple complex is that it's not actually all super old. There's older parts, but then a lot of it is actually quite new and even being completed as recently as 2010. So obviously this looks quite modern. And if you want to go up this tower, 
it costs 50,000 and there's actually an elevator inside so obviously it's not that old. <laughs> On my own in the left, this is cool. All the way to the top 12 floors, that's pretty high. I'm excited for these views. Literally like we are a drone in the sky. Definitely worth coming up here. Take a train ride just to see you. Ride for hours. Well, that was definitely worth it, honestly. Going up there, you can kind of just see how beautiful the surroundings are of this temple, kind of Nimbin as well. I've just stopped off, jumped off the bike because honestly, I want to stop like every 10 minutes I'm driving. Everywhere is just so beautiful. This isn't anywhere special. This is just literally at the side of the road, somewhere random. Over in the distance, I've just seen some goats. And actually in Ninbin, in this area, it's very like common to have goat meat and it's like a special thing here. So I do want to try and have that for lunch or at some point in the video, because it'd be quite a, pretty cool to try. Maybe we should go find some food with goat in, because I'm actually a little bit hungry now. We've had a busy morning. I've just come into this massive empty restaurant and I ordered a noodle soup with goat. You could get it with chicken for like half the price, but I was like, let's try some goat. It's quite crazy here. There's so many massive restaurants, massive roads, massive car park. It's like they're preparing for an absolute like tourist boom here. Maybe it's because a lot of Chinese tourists aren't traveling yet. I drove past so many restaurants which have massive areas like this. I don't know. It'd be interesting to know. And if you do know, uh, please let me know. <laughs> We've got it, goat noodle soup. Definitely tastes a little bit different, but pretty good to be fair. Almost like more chewier meat. I don't know what, what's a chewier meat, like a beef or something. In all honesty, I wouldn't really get goat again. It's not really a great meat compared to like chicken or other stuff. But I guess it's good to try because we're here in Nimbin and it's a speciality. So we're currently driving through Chang'an, which is another area you can stay here in Nimbin. Like, but it's just slightly more out of town, so it's not in Tamcock town. It's just outside of it, but it's a cool area. Very, very beautiful. And if you want more of a peaceful retreat, then place to stay, I think. Here you can see the goat. I think she's selling this goat or goat meat. Oh. <laughs> That's interesting. Just like a goat for sale, like that. It looks alive almost. Pretty crazy. It's around three o'clock now. This is my new hotel room. Pretty nice. It's called like Tamcock Victoria Hotel and pretty decent, 13 pounds a night. I mean, amazing deal. I'm about to meet up with Wes again and we're going to go on the Tamcock boat tour which is like a two or three hour tour all around the mountains and the rice fields and honestly it looks insane. Let's go! Hello, uh, two people and one boat ride? Total 390. 390. We have to wear life jackets on this boat. We just bought um, a ticket and it was 120,000 Vietnamese dong per person and then 150,000 dong for two people on a boat. And you can only have two people on a boat. Okay. One and one? Yeah, one by one. How are you? <laughs> you good? <laughs> good. Hey. I'm from England. Where are you from? Vietnam. Vietnam. Yeah. Nimbin. Nimbin, yeah. Nimbin, ah, oh, nice. She's rowing with her feet. That's incredible. I didn't know. I've never seen that before. No. That's so cool. So we've just started the journey. I have no idea how long we're going to be on the boat. It could be two, three hours. Um, but hopefully we're going to go right into the bits that you can't access by land. You have to go on the boat. So it's going to be pretty cool. <laughs> Beer? Yeah. Do you want a beer? Yeah. <laughs> huh? 
Yeah. yeah. How much a beer? That's 30. Okay. Well, two beers. We're getting a beer from the cellar. Not bad. 30,000. Come on. It's all right. I'll do it. Uh, yeah, two beers. It's all right, I'll do it. Uh, 200. 200. 200. Oh, 200 for all. Oh, 200 for all. Ah, 30? Ah, that's not. 100. It's okay. 30, 30. Oh, I've heard of this scam online. 30, 30. So they just tried to force us to pay more money. We paid for the beer, 30-30, and then they're trying to make us pay for more stuff. And it was enough to cover it all, but she wanted more. Double the price. Bit of a thingy. Sneaky. Yeah, a bit sneaky. Yeah. No, now she's laughing. <laughs> Did a bit of a trick. I think we're coming towards the end of our boat trip. We basically went to that spot where all those sellers were and then we came, like turned around and came back. But honestly, there's so many caves around here. There's actually quite a lot of boats on the water. I don't know if you come early or come later, maybe you avoid that a bit more, but yeah, there's a few less now than when we first started. It was pretty busy. Thank you, come on. So we are back after about an hour and 45 on the river. Honestly, really like, just nice journey definitely recommend going um, they wanted like she was asking for like a tip at the end so obviously we gave some money because she's been rowing for like you know an hour and a half we are back from the boat trip down honestly Ninbin is beautiful but it is very touristy and there is so many Vietnamese tourists here but what I want to do tomorrow morning is go for another sunrise Good morning. So we are on our way to this pagoda and hopefully it won't be too busy. So this is actually where we got the boats yesterday, this river right here. And there's currently no boats on the water, which is quite crazy because you would have seen how many there were yesterday and how chaotic it was. I'm on a bike, as you probably know, and there's one problem with this. It's got a bit of an annoying sound every time I paddle. Pedal, pedal, paddle. We've just arrived at the pagoda. A bit windy and cold this morning, but yeah, keeping warm on the bike. This is nice. Just me and you, my camera, and hopefully you guys, if anyone's watching, at this beautiful spot. Apparently there's some like little caves you can walk through and stuff around here, but I don't know. It seems so peaceful in the morning. It feels like such a different vibe to like the chaos, you know, of the busy boat trip yesterday. So this pagoda is like built into the cave. It looks pretty cool. It feels like something you'd find in like Bhutan or I don't know, somewhere like that. It definitely feels so much different from the temples in Cambodia and the same like the temples in Thailand. They're just so different to here. Now I think there's a little cave you can go through, but it looks quite small, a little bit narrow. And there is a sign saying it's away. So maybe we should have a look. Just looks a bit creepy because it's early in the morning. Oh, it doesn't seem too, too scary. There's still a bit of light. Okay, I keep hearing noises. I don't know what it is. Bats, rats, anything. Because I've seen a few rats and dead rats around here. But I don't like it. So I'm just going to get out of here. Because I'm by myself. I'm in the morning. I could be in bed rather than seeing non-touristy places, which should be touristy because it's creepy if you come early. So ah, that's better. In the light. In the howling wind again. Oh, can you hear them? It's literally like there's a bunch of school children just arrived. <laughs> I'm getting out of here fast. Sometimes people don't understand solo traveling. I'm like, why are you by yourself? Because I like it. It's nice to solo travel sometimes. What a massive difference literally 30 minutes, 45 minutes makes. I think it's 7.45 or loads of people here suddenly.
I'm in the rice fields. Well, I like it. Super green, super lush. This place is beautiful. Honestly, guys, Ninh Bin is stunning. Like, it's so beautiful, but it comes at a little bit of a cost. Obviously, it's touristy here. I've loads of Vietnamese tourists. It's only like two hours from Hanoi, so you can do it on a day trip. You can actually do lots of day trips here from Hanoi if you don't want to stay the night. But for that reason, there is so many tourists. So get up early, go, go to bed late, <laughs> be wild. And yeah, hopefully you can avoid some of the, some of the tourists like I like to a lot of the time. In the next video, we are doing the Hajian Loop, the extreme North Vietnam motorbike loop. And it's gonna be insane. We're gonna go close to China. We're gonna have one of the, it's gonna be the best video of the whole of Vietnam. And some people say it's the best thing they do in Southeast Asia. So if that's something to subscribe to, then just smash it down below and just subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video on the Hajian Loop.